how does the audience, you know, this is getting into a little bit of your secret sauce, right? But you said storytelling is the number one secret. If I'm a, a listener, you know, we'll have thousands of, of people listening into this episode. How do I start telling stories? Like, wh where do I start? Like, if it's brand new to me and, and I don't even know, you know, how to execute. How does the audience execute this secret? Well, yeah, it goes back to, you know, standing on the shoulders of giants. You know, if you're, you know, let's say you're selling, you know, racing systems or something, or you're selling something that's going to help somebody's car go faster. And then you look at, you know, what Ford did when they competed with Ferrari. That movie just came out last year. And, and you use stories of other people. I'm saying, well, this isn't how we did it, but this is how Henry Ford did it. Or this is how somebody else did it. Or this is how somebody in my office did it. Or, you know, whatever it is. Or, you know, my grandfather once taught me, you know, I've got a million grandfather stories. I'm sure everybody does. My grandfather was a, a gunner on a, on a um, B-29 in World War II. I've got a million stories. <laughs> and, and I've used those at work. And it's just funny. But, um, you know, if you're brand new and you don't have your own stories, just leverage the stories of other people. It doesn't matter if you know them or not. But the main thing you have to remember is they got to be factual. They got to be honest. You can't embellish anything. You got to tell the truth. And as long as you tell the truth, people are going to know you're telling the truth and they're going to trust you and they're going to follow because nobody is going to buy anything from you if they don't trust you. 